Hello and welcome to 3dparadise.com In uh, this tutorial I will show you how to uh, put a spring on your uh, hydraulic piston and, uh, I'll show you how to make it bend like it bends in real life and how to set up the rigging so to speak um, You can see here on the preview here that uh, it's bending like it should so but um, I'll get started, so stop this and delete it all. First I'm gonna make a piston and you already seen how that's done on the tutorial here on the side so I'll just make it a quick one. I'll use some spheres this time. This will be the bottom and top part of the piston. Okay, so the piston itself. Convert it to edible poly. Then we want some details here. <laughs> Just a little height. And then a little bit with like that. Then we're gonna do an extrude. Choose wireframe so I can see what I'm doing. I just want this uh, piston to be fully extended uh, as I'm creating this uh, spring fully extended as well. So that's how we're gonna do it. And I'm gonna do a little bell again, to, so there's a little spacing between the top part of this piston and, and the bottom one. And then an extrude for the upper part. And that will be enough for this spring. Then I just want this to be smooth, so I'll add a smooth modifier here. Choose auto smooth, and I know it's just above 20 for it to be completely smooth, so that's what I'm gonna use. And then I'm gonna convert to edible poly again to get rid of the smooth modifier. And now it's time to align this. So I'm using the align tool and to the sphere, and I'm gonna use all positions. And I'm gonna use pivot point to pivot point. Apply, okay. And yeah, the pivot point is centered on this one. Then I'm gonna align this one to this as well. And I'm gonna use all positions. And I'm gonna use the pivot point of this to the maximum. Two seconds. Gonna apply this first so it's centered, and then only the height. So that's pivot point to maximum on this as well. Click OK. might look a bit bad but <laughs> anyway and now we're gonna separate this part from this part so we're gonna choose the polygons and select all the upper polygons and then we're gonna detach it like that so now I have two parts And I need to set the pivot point of this one to this one's pivot point as well. We'll do that now. Pick pivot point. And we're going to use all positions and pivot point to pivot point center and apply. Yeah. Now I'm going to link the parts to the right parts. I'm just going to go off pivot. And this one to that one. And now, uh, if you remember, I need to put a look at constraint on it. So, animation, constraints, well, I can select the first. Animation, constraints, and look at. And then we click the opposite side. This one to this one, and that one to that one. And keep initial offset. And that's it. 
and then the bottom part animation constraints and look at constraint and this one has to look at the one up here keep initial offset like that so if I take this one move it my piston is working so get a control C now I'm gonna add the spring um, and it's found in under geometry and then under the dynamic objects you see there spring so I'm gonna take the spring and I'm just gonna create it right next to this and the first you have to choose the diameter of it um, you can change it after you're done after you made the object but we'll try to get it right from the first time mm, a little smaller like that and then the height you may see this looks a bit weird um, but we're gonna add the turns later how many turns it has to do not right now we just have to set the height and I want it to be just like that just has to be just about the length you want and then over here at the settings I'll just you can see the same settings in here on the modifier you can see a lot of uh, things you can change but you're mainly only gonna use uh, this one and this is um, the diameter and how many turns it has to make and now if you remember we are making this fully extended so we might want this to be a little out like that and a little bit smaller diameter I'll start with this um, now we have to align this to our piston so align tool and we'll just choose this one all positions and pivot point to pivot point mm, yeah that will do you can also just manual align this as long as it's a cinder and you can align it manually um, then it will be fine as well see now we already got a lot of segments on this um, perhaps we can use a few more that'll be fine now we have to make this extend and detract when we're moving uh, this sphere here you can see it's not falling at all so you select the spring and go into endpoint method and say bound to object pivots now we bind it to the top one and the bottom one the top sphere bottom sphere so pick top object click the sphere, there, pick bottom object and click the sphere down here like that now there's gonna be some magic see now it's uh, doing what it's supposed to so and that's actually what we wanted so I hope you understood this um, you can ask any question you want on the forums and I'll try to give a good answer. Um, I just cheated a little and uh, keyed a few uh, frames here for the top sphere here so when I play this it does that. Uh, I just thought I would add that just for fun but um, thank you for watching 3dparadise.com